So, where is our wandering Jew today? First, uh, from Dorothy Friedman August. I was extremely sad when I heard about Thule. I have lost a great spirit. Thule was a great person, activist, and friend. I had the fortune to read with him at poetry events, particularly anti-war readings. His feisty parodies and clever lampoons at injustice, Thule was unique and irreplaceable. Like everyone here, I will miss him greatly. Dorothy Friedman August. Mikhail Horowitz, when we spoke the other day, he said, can you imagine if Thule would have owned the Yankees? <laughs> the Dodgers, fuck the Dodgers, they split. You know, we don't deal with the Dodgers. I'm from Brooklyn and I hated the Dodgers. Except the draft Dodgers. <laughs> uh, Thule always told me he hated poetry and the way poets delivered it, so I decided to read a poem with him. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm reading a para-poem, like his para-songs, except it's a poem based on my own poem. <laughs> in, any, in any case, it's a takeoff, which was initially called, What the Hell is it Ethel? I have to thank Kobe, who I met at Tui's bedside in the hospital, and I don't know why Kobe and I, we kind of bonded, if whatever you call it. Kobe was singing Tui songs, and I'm thinking, what the fuck is this guy singing Tui songs? But it was kind of amazing, and, Toby and I, uh, Kobe and I just got along great. And at the end, Kobe told me this story that when he and Tui were walking in Brooklyn, I think two were from a gig, we looked at him and said he wanted his epitaph to read, What the hell was that? <laughs> uh, so I, I took my What the hell is it, Ethel poem, and I kind of made it into What the hell was that, Thule? With a little bows to Thule. What the hell was that, Thule? Was it, will be, when there's no place left to dream? Not even tomorrow. I travel from in the beginning to the change of in the. My soul, the only window left unclean, or should I say unwashed. The blues floating around my newspaper eyes, my unrevealed covert operations of lies, death and the crypt, still unknown inside me, inside out, still asking, what the hell was that, Thule? That tightrope? And who the hell am I? We with our passive bullet and board hearts reporting on the hour's events, the Rudy rubric of provenance, the glory of faded glory, inclement glory. You, pacifist nerve rider on your new trip with your pocket full of perverbs and your anarchist's heart riding this stretch of sunsets as eternal witness to this bad taste. While the flowers, silent as monk's breath, open and beckon, and you truly begin anew, always anew, always uncovering plots, awaiting sail in the foggy morning, set in stone in random motion and vertical sleep amidst this conspiracy of silence we all share. And as the fool has often said, what the hell was that to me? There are no secrets. There should be no secrets. Life's no picnic basket. There is no forest through the brooms. There's only motion and dust, bursting arteries and ethyl. What the hell is it and where's it all to go? Where's it gonna end up on the red planet and frozen water trapped in space in a waiting council with a gigantic in. That's what life's all about, Tuli, a journey into false aesthetics, blind and cursing down some odd lidded alley in search of nothing less than the perfect entertainment, nothing more than the antithesis of entertainment itself. Totems, clouds, fishermen, 
two halves of the same who tangled like fruit in old lace and tripping over themselves. You could have been one of them, but you're not, and yet because you cared so deeply, perhaps you are. So what the hell was that, Tulian? Who the hell are we anyway? And as Tuli himself might put it, it's not about the aspiration to great heights, but the perspiration. <laughs>